What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to your home for everything local sports. It's JJ. This highlight video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, the perfect place to cater your team's next event. We've got more and more league wrestling for you Thursday night. Wilson visiting Long Beach Poly. All four boys and girls squads with hopes of top two finishes in league this year, but they need wins tonight. On the girls' side, Wilson can clinch its first league title ever with a victory over the second place Jackrabbits, and oh boy, did we have a close one. These two went back and forth in the first few matches. Polly got first round pins from their lower weight classes. Carla Martinez, Azari Guziar, and Crystal Molina all getting first round pins. And then Wilson got back into it with a second round pin from Kiana Bersino, a first round pin from Ivani Messina, and then Monica Castaneda wins at 137. And all of a sudden we're tied up 21-21. Wilson's Gracie Kazarian gets a first round pin at 143. Polly's Genesis Alue gets a first round pin at 150, tied 27-27, another trade of points, and then we're tied 33-33 after a forfeit until the Polly heavyweights are going to take this one as Tessa Tom at 189 and Samantha Garcia at 235 win it for the Jackrabbits, 45-33. And we may finish this season with a three-way tie for first place, Milliken, Wilson, and Polly. On the boys' side, these two programs have improved a lot, but they both lost to first place Milliken this year, so it's for second place. Wilson's Ryan Catbaggin and Polly's Jeremy Laverie had a great match at 106, but Catbaggin won it, and that was important because Polly went after a run after that as Peter Kim and Jaron Valdez both pick up wins. Kim had a second round pin at 113. And we have to show you this at 126. Wilson's Rudy Hernandez drilled Ethan Irizarry. And you can see Hernandez let up. He felt Irizarry had the wind knocked out of him. And he could have really hurt him, but he chose not to. And really, that's true sportsmanship. And I kid you not, after an injury timeout, Irizarry literally catches his breath and then pulls this move out of, well, out of nowhere for the pin. Tip of the cap to Hernandez for not seriously injuring someone. I mean, we're all human out here. And a raise of the hand for Irizarry. Way to bounce back. Polly is up 16-3, but the Bruins were able to grab momentum back real quick as Andrew Rendon at 132 and Griffin Hunt with a pin at 138 give Wilson a 20-16 lead. Jackrabbits run back into it with Zhang Low and Jacob Dang. They both had pins at 152 and 160, so now the Jackrabbits are up 28-20. But Wilson cuts back into the lead thanks to Chuck Ellis' second round pin at 170. And then Marvin Madrid gets a win on points. So then Wilson retakes the lead, 31-28. Wilson head coach Seth Wegner said he was very proud about how smart his team wrestled this night. And it was key to victories late for Brett Dogowitz, Corday Jones, and Miguel Kamara all at 195, 220, and 285. Kamara with the second round pin is going to seal the deal. Wilson 43, Polly 28. Bruins very likely going to be second place finishers here in the Moore League. Polly going to be third. And like I said, that three way tie on the girls' side. Still one day of regular season to go here in Moore League Wrestling. And then they've got the finals girls February 1st at Lakewood and the boys February 6th at Compton. For all of that local wrestling coverage, you stay right here at the 562.org. And if you enjoy this coverage, please visit the website. Hit that subscribe button in the top right-hand corner and join the support for local sports.